Oh yeah. Just got another, uh, I think almost a marathon now, to the Manato Bridge, mainly time I can concrete again. Which is a bonus. Bring on Anglesey, my poor feet. That's where you're starting from today. Just left Land Dud now, some two and a half miles now. Still climbing up the Great Wall, but look, just that. Just makes life easier than start yesterday. Don't see the sea for 16 miles. Running through various sewage plants, industrial estates, horrible stinky river dig. No offence to northerners. Most rivers are the same, unfortunately, as we all know. But today's a better vibe already. And my stomach's more settled. I managed to have a tin of pineapples and a fuel drink this morning. So I started with 700 calories in, which is a good start to the day. It's holding in. So far. <laughs> aren't listening up but food's going in which is the main thing and staying in so I'm going to uh, pile a load of calories in there as much as I can and then 10 miles down to the Menlo Bridge I'm really looking forward to getting over that bridge now not that there's any magical answers there but three worst things to run on sand tarmac and concrete and it feels like it's all I've done for the last day and a half coast path last year and didn't even get a coat out once. Here we are today, day two, the raincoat is out and it's cold.
So bits like this, where it's technical, I'm just taking it easy because all the little stones are just digging up and out of my feet. You know, while I'm waiting for them to toughen up a little bit. I was going, I said, obviously my feet are ruined, my left calf's tight, but the actual injury, the tendon is, yeah, it's okay. Which bodes well. You'd expect to be sore all over in the first couple of days, but the actual injury, such wood not bothering me, is encouraging. Well, nearly on 50 mile, so started at Landudno what seems like forever ago, but it was 13 hours 40 minutes, left Landudno this morning, in a different life it feels like, and now we're, uh, this is Red Wharf Bay we're on, I'm getting picked up at the end here, so we'll tick over 50 miles when we get to the car, which will put us uh, give or take on 100 miles, two days, which is where I wanted to be. I wanted to get slightly ahead of the, the current record for the Wales Path FKT on the first day and then tag a mile or two on that every day. So I just keep streaking ahead, get that record at Chepstow because then I've got a 177 mile add-on up the Offers Dyke with 28,000 feet of climbing. So balance, I don't want to get the record off Reese, the current holder, without pushing too hard. I need to save some for when I turn left at Chepstow. It's been a good day though really. I've uh, had some real low moments and I've had some painful issues. Martin gave me a, a foam roller at about, what would that be, about 41, 42 mile for a really tight left calf. And although that made me sore for a mile or two, it certainly helped, it's loosened it. So, my main issue is my right foot right now. Which is good, I haven't come into it with a, a quad tendon issue. Such wood, that hasn't been flaring up. It's sore, it's there, but it's not holding me back in any way. So the little uh, sore spots I do have, should settle down. Yeah. Gotta be optimistic. <laughs> 